I have to go and put my potato on at five. So I don't know how long we're going to be. That was the first thing after I started recording. Oh. <laughs> the potato warning. Hello, everyone. I am Tessellating Hexagons, back with another spoon of Billy Hatcher. And today, multiplayer. And in order to play the multiplayer, you need to have multiple players. And so for that purpose, I have enlisted, as promised, Mama Hex. Hello, everyone. I am Mama Hex. She certainly does. So she'll be playing as Rolly, other playing as Bantam. Now, there are three different multiplayer modes. There's time, where you have a time limit to kill the other players as much as possible, and the most kills wins. There's survival, where you can have up to five lives, and whoever dies the most first loses. You could have one, five, or three minutes. But we only ever play hatch mode, where egg animals are worth points, and you can go for nine, 15, or 30. We usually go for 30, and our collective favorite map is Blizzard Castle, just because. We'll go through some of them, can't promise all of them, but we will have a time. We intend to, a time shall be had by us. And I will explain the point values as they become relevant. Actually, fuck it, I'll explain them now. Okay. So, regular egg animals are worth three points. Sonic eggs, Super Clippin, and Super Recky are worth four points. And any egg that you could, well, any, like, egg animal that you can ride, so Rickol, uh, Kaboot, and Datch are all worth five points. Note also that if you hatch an egg, but someone else claims the points first, then it's worth that amount minus one. Oh, that happened. And also, if you die, you lose two points. But if someone else kills you, instead, they steal all of your points. Important distinction there. Because this game, as we have discussed at length, we have. it rewards aggressive play. And we tend not to play aggressively, funnily enough. So... Why do you say that? What do I say? <laughs> I have been blown up more times than I care to think about. But then again, I do set my animals on to you more than you set yours on to me. Well, you don't so much set them on to me so much as you, you just press the X button just to get them out of your field of view. Yes. Yeah, so I, I'm strategic with the bombs, and she's just chaos. <laughs> yeah. And it works. We were, we've been playing this game for years. There was once upon a time back in the Diddly Ho, which was a period of history, obviously, where I, I, I declared it to be Random Explosions Week and went even more ham than usual with the bombs. And that, that was a fun time. See, I know to beware of those eggs. For exactly that reason. For that reason. Yeah, because the, uh, as I said in single player, a lot of the items in this game feel like they were specifically designed for the multiplayer, and the bomb egg thing that looks like an egg to everyone except the person who set it is one such example, because if you set it, then you see that it looks like a remote-controlled bomb, but if anyone else sees it, then they view it as being a recoil egg, which is always right side up. So if you see an egg that's perfectly aligned but isn't inside a nest, be suspicious. Oh. That was a really pathetic scream because I saw Boss was coming. Well, oh. Oh, oh, do speak up. No, I was I was muttering. You wouldn't have heard anyway because I was only I was only muttering. Apart from when you went nya. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're a family of cats. Yeah. Now, other things to consider. Uh, you can use egg animals. Well, first of all, when you befriend an egg animal. Like, you get points, but also, when you befriend egg animal, you automatically unbefriend the previous animal that you were previously aligned with. Which means that someone else can turn up and befriend the egg animal instead, and they can use it instead. And, I don't know about three or four player, but certainly in two player, uh, there's a maximum number of egg animals that can be on the field at any given time. So, in this case, I believe there's three, and when a fourth one appears on the, the scene, there's a Sonic egg over here, by the way. I'm a good sportsman. I, I, if, if there's there's an egg, I will tell her. Not that she's paying any attention. It's behind you. Oh, I've got no sense of direction, and that doesn't help. You see. Yeah. Where? Where behind me? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh hi. Mm -hmm. I've already forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you can steal other people's egg animals, and when, when a fourth one appears, the oldest one, so the one that was hatched longest ago, despawns. But a slight asterisk to that, if two people have fully grown eggs at the same time, and they both hatch it at the same time, 
then the first person who did the rooster call gets priority, and the second person's egg animal literally despawns in childbirth. Well, I've got a child! Ah. They act just like Flippin, as you may recall. Oh. Chow are born from eggs, too! We, we have fond memories of Chow. Cutest thing. We have fond memories of Sonic Adventure 2 in general, and uh, so that's something else we're going to multiplay on this channel at some point. Oh, are we? Oh. She says, half thrilled, half dreadful. I know. That's not what dreadful means. <laughs> it's such fun. I'm better at the, uh, the races than I am at the... Uh... We are looking for the emeralds. See, I specialise in that mode. That's my personal favourite. Apparently, I've seen people talking shit on Twitter, alleging that, that those are just filler levels that no one likes. Well, fuck you, they're the best part of the game. I'm glad you agree. Yeah. That's our fun. Now, also, uh, that was a rabbit egg, by the way. Yeah, I, 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 I'm... The, the thing you walked past, to, to the behind of you, the other behind... <laughs> That's the thing, I, I am a bit of a screen looker, but that's because I'm so used to watching the entire screen, and... Wow. Go back towards your behind. Walk towards your bottom, and watch out for the bomb. What bomb that bomb? <laughs> You're welcome. Hell's bells in a bottle of ketchup. I've got to use this egg now. Well, you just wait there, I'll use my psychic hat. <laughs> Uh, is this even a remotely entertaining to watch, do you reckon? <laughs> you know, I'm usually better at this level than I am now, because I can't multitask. I'm not very good at... Well, I'm not brilliant at playing this anyway, compared to you, but when it comes to talking at the same time... Hmm. If Bumba Hex won't go to the mountain, here's the egg. Thank Look, here's, here's the bloody egg. Have, have, have the... Blah. Blah. That's, that's another talent of mine, adding rolled R's into words that don't contain R's in the first place. There's a very real possibility that this is the last Let's Play video of mine ever to be edited in my current editing software. And so for my next series onwards, I'm going to transition wholesale into uh, into the stuff I've been using for my Eurovision videos, which should be fun. Hmm. We shall see. Us. Now, sort of a legitimate strategy in multiplayer as well is if you see an egg that's useless. Bearing in mind, we tend not to favour. You know, anything that would give, like, an aggressive strategy. It is also a valid strategy to pick up a useless egg and, like, throw it over the side level or deliberately run it over with another egg. So, you know, it, it'll pop and then a, a better egg might respawn in its place. Now, I do that a lot. There's no way that my eggs would have perfectly positioned a bomb in the middle of this nest, surely. Worthwhile gamble. Y you'll learn to be suspicious of them. And you can yeah. use... You can use egg animals to attack things that you suspect of being bombs. If it's a real egg, it'll take a bit of damage and roll away. If it's a bomb, it'll just blow up. But as I've shown in uh, in single player, bombs and explosions have two separate hitboxes. So running into a bomb will do you some damage, but the explosion persists for a couple of seconds after. So you can e explode a bomb and not take damage from it. And that was a demonstration of a glitch I was just talking about. <laughs> if you hatch two things at the same time. Oh, I would have gone ahead as well. Oh, well, okay, there's a five-pointer back no, there. It's okay. No, there's, let's be fair. there's a five-pointer there as well. Oh, really? Yes. Goodness me. Yeah, there's lots of little strategies that we've learned oh, over the years. <laughs> yeah, I told you. <laughs> what did I tell you exactly what I just told you? I only just saw it now. Oh, it's did you? Yeah. Oh, really? Hindsight is a wonderful thing. It's, people say that, but it's not. Hindsight is sadistic and nasty and vicious and spiteful. Yeah. Like, people keep asking me what I'm gonna do this year. Like, come on, guys, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on anymore. <laughs> just a sort of coordinated ballet with my egg there. Ooh, I just realised, because we set oh, the... Yeah. I've, I've been slowly, like... So... Mama Hex's first encounter with this game was a, a, a baptism of fire of sorts, because I was accustomed to... Like, I, I was a baby at the time. Well, I was still in high school? I forget when. But... I, like, it's all a blur. Like, I, I was stupid and foolish and young, and I sort of assumed that because I found the controls so intuitive, that so would she, and of course not. So the past couple of weeks, I've, I've, I've been... Like, we've been getting back into the multiplayer, and I've been teaching her more advanced techniques. Has it been working? Absolutely. In a short space of time as well. Considering how long 
you know, over the years we play this every so often. Where are we going? Oh, okay. Every so often. And then we had a bit of intensive training, didn't we? But to be fair, even though I'm a mama, it's got nothing to do with me being a mama. Because even when I was younger, my coordination was not brilliant. This is why I never learned to drive. Partly the reason. Yeah, but whereas with me, my, my excuse is anxiety. Oh, I've got that too, but mainly no sense of direction, as you've just probably seen. And, mm. oh, look, the hole. Yes, we, we, we call this level the hole. Oh, wee. Because the, the sort of the gimmick here is there's an above area and a below area, and you can break holes. There's nothing decent down here. Yeah, we, we were doing a practice round before we started recording, where down there, there were literally three eggs. Well, no, there, there were literally four eggs down there, but three of them were the blue ones that can sometimes contain the spiky thing and sometimes contain the dice. Mm. Now, what can we talk to the lovely people about? Because, like... I've been showing you things lately. We've started watching Rick and Morty. Obviously, we've been... now that Luca Jid is recovering from her, dare I say it, hysterectomy, um, she made it public, so I feel like I'm free reign to discuss it was a thing that happened and power to her. But yeah, so she's having to take a hiatus from Bangarang, as we call it, Dagadrampa V3. So I've been showing Mama Hex the ways of Ace Attorney. I know, and first of all, I thought this is really, really slow, especially if, you've, if you're used to Danganronpa. But it, they've ramped it up a bit now. Yeah, we, we, at the moment we're on the, the final the final trial segment of case three of the first game, and we're, we're getting through it at a rate of knots. I haven't had a decent hatch at all because you're distracting me talking about Ace Attorney. I'm distracting me talking about stuff. Like, you know, what goes on in this head of mine? Nothing I want to be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good. Um, what else? Since I've last, since I was last on YouTube. Oh, discovered the delights of Gravity Falls. Oh yes, we watched the entirety of oh. Gravity Falls. Wow. And by the way, you currently have a tiger, which I was explaining the hawk before we started recording, but the, the tiger, there you go, destroys every egg apart from ones you're touching, whereas the hawk destroys everything indiscriminately. All right, let's try the hole now. What's down the hole now? Whee! Now, an interesting uh, sort of oh. sub gimmick of this level as well is these two boarded up holes here if you break them, then eggs will start spawning, like, still at this height, but then they'll, they'll drop down into the hole below. And the trade-off there is that means that, like, if an egg if an egg isn't in its nest, then after a while it will despawn, which of course means that, you know, a new egg will appear in its place. But if those holes are broken, then obviously the egg will not be in its nest by default because its nest is at this level and not underground so those eggs will sort of be on a constant cycle of refreshing but i don't like the idea of the eggs sitting there waiting to be hatched and then being like oh i guess no one loves me i'll just disappear into the ether because i feel too strongly why do you do this to yourself i love too much i love things like their people and people like the things and both of the cats have turned up to watch by the way because this is <laughs> This is the, the only time that I've recorded with my bedroom door open because we're the only ones in the house at the moment because the father's back at work and I I recently got promoted to customer at work because they had to lay off <laughs> literally half their stuff because of the global pandemic. So, as I pointed out, and I, I can only laugh about this. Because of how slow I've been in completing this series, this Let's Play lasted longer than my employment and I find that hilarious. But yeah. <laughs> So both Trixie and Mary are just sitting outside. Like, they can come in if they want. Passively nudging the cats to enter the room, but no, they're just sitting over there, washing and staring. Trixie still hates me. I've put her on Instagram. She still hates me. <laughs> she hates me. Is that from a song? Yes, by a, a band called Paddle of Mud. Mud being spelt with two Ds. So not Tiger Feet. No, that's just Mud with the one D. Duly noted. Now, the most important strategic question of the entire game. Yeah. Are you having fun? I think I am, yes. I'm kind of wishing that I brought my, uh, my kazoo along. Well, I, I have my kazoo in here, but it's behind me. <laughs> Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the kazoo? No. Didn't think so. We, we had an immense time when the kazoos first arrived as well, because th there was like a whole rainbow pack of different colours, and I picked out the purple one because I'm fabulous like that. 
and the it turns out the membrane inside it wasn't like in place properly so it wouldn't kazoo properly and i was playing the kazoo and we were trying to work out why i couldn't kazoo because you just thought i was shit <laughs> I thought, I, I said, you're an intelligent chap. You know, you, you've got a, a really good degree and all the rest of it, and you can't play a kazoo. Yeah, and I was rolling on the floor laughing at just like, I can't do fucking is the kazoo. Turns out it was the kazoo's fault. And this is an occupational hazard. Occupational hazard? A hazard when buying kazoos off Amazon. Because if you buy a pack of kazoos, invariably at least one of them will not work. But be warned. I know this from reading reviews. Yes, it's, 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 like, I think you theorised it was deliberate ploy on the part of the kazoo manufacturers, in the same way that, like, you know, when, not that you'd know, of course, not that I'd know either, but when, when drug dealers mix in, like, talcum powder and rat poison into their cocaine, <laughs> they, they put a couple of, no, that was just sad, a couple of defective kazoos in and amongst their, uh, their, their effective kazoos. You swine. You're the one who stopped. And oh, the egg's gone. I was going to swipe your Sonic egg. Well, I swiped oh, the egg's your. Gone now. I swiped your Hyperfruit as well. Well, fuck it. I'm going to hatch this one and claim my victoire. I've got no points, you see. I'm not normally this bad. It, it, it's true. I knew you would do this. We, we, we did have a round before this where it, there was one egg between us. Oh, well, there was. And a handful of peas. I didn't see the peas. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to. You mean to. I missed out on. On legume, legumens. <laughs> you see, I've got... I would have had the upper hand there because I eat peas and you do not. Yeah. Although I've got photographic ev evidence of you eating a pea. Just the one. It was to prove a point. In, it well, may have been in Italy. It was Spain or Italy. And did it actually make its way from the fork into your mouth? That's the thing. You're holding it to your mouth well, on the fork. I recall that it did because uh, peas, are peas are vile little things. Now, Forest Village is the only map in the game that has two multiplayer maps. Yeah. And also, Sand Ruin and Giant Palace are locked by default until you reach them in the story mode, by the way. Uh -huh. Whereas, I believe everything from Forest Village all the way up to San uh, not sorry, Circus Park, I believe are unlocked from the beginning. And I do like when games do that, where you can, like... If, if, if you do something a canonical to the story mode, then you get a sort of a sneak preview of what's ahead. And I feel like games don't do that anymore. Hmm. And there was, a f like, I had had some fun game designy ideas. And this is legitimate and justified on my part because one third of my degree is game design. Yep. What, 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 what was that yup? You, you sound almost contemptible with your degree in English. No, I was encouraging you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Seasoned English Bachelor of Arts. Anyway, I, I'd suggested some things that I would change about the multiplayer of this game. And one thing is have, like, double the number of, of playable levels by having a day mode and a night mode where, like... <laughs> you can't hear it, but Mama Hex just nodded. Where, like, there's two versions of each map and, like... The night mode is harder somehow, like, like everything does double damage or something, and it's slightly different. Like, for instance, Sand Ruin, you could have, like, switches that make the... Like, instead of the holes being breakable wooden panels, they can be those doors that open and close, but, like, on a horizontal plane. So you can open the hole or close the hole, and, like, by closing it in one place, it opens it somewhere else and vice versa, and, you know, that sort of thing. Or, like, Dino Mountain, which is a, a level we tend to eschew... That's only because I keep falling off. Yeah, you do struggle to find out where the floor is. And I, and I used eschew in a sentence. Where is my five pounds? <laughs> like, I'm thinking the, the day version of that should have the holes boarded up. So it's like you can still break through them, like in Sand Ruin. But you could also not. To, you know, to make the day version less hard than the night version. Just an idea. Oh, the game's gone vegan. I can't find any eggs. Ah, here we are. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Now, are we about to demonstrate? Yeah, there you go. I, I hatched it, but you took the points. So you get two points rather than the three that I would have got because I hatched it, but you took it. See, that's, we're demonstrating game mechanics. Oh, this is the thing I was going to mention as yeah, well. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I meant to do, yeah. Nah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> there was... Oh, I did, actually. Oh. Mm. There was something that happened when we were practicing earlier on as well, where I discovered that 
if a sonic egg takes some damage but not enough to destroy it, then it loses its silver coloration and just turns plain white. I mean, it, it, it retains the Sonic Team logo, of course, but it, it changes from silver to white, and I'm assuming that's just a texturing error, but it's bloody fascinating. One that I wouldn't have discovered were it not for Mama Hex's clumsiness. <laughs> so in the meantime, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thumb. <laughs> Now I know that that's technically that 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 that's that belongs to Letters, who is of course the the, the present girlfriend of Big Dip on a Bus, who I refer to as formerly Josh, even though that's the only thing about him that's not former. But still, but still, thumb. <laughs> when you talk about formerly Josh, I know who you mean. Yeah, <laughs> not because with Josh Jepson, who who is still no. Josh. He has a wife, you know. Does he? <laughs> you know what she is called? Mrs. Jepson. Or well, that's sexist nowadays. I mean, she is Mrs. Jepson, but, but Fire Lord Brooke. Well, her, her real name's oh. Brooke Jepson, but oh, right. her screen name is Fire Lord Brooke. Cool. Good for her. I know nothing about her, but she seems down to chill, etc. Greg, etc. I know nothing of her ass. I cannot speak of the quality of her ass in case anyone was mentally completing the Night in the Woods reference. There. I'm sure literally nobody was. Thanks for the encouragement. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Uh, oh, I remember Night in the Woods. That was a time that was had by us. And by us, I mean me. And you, if you watched that series, and also this one. This was meant to be a quick round, and here we still are, because the are. game has gone very vegan. Nice, isn't it? Now, what, what thinkest thou? Should we show the... Uh, the multiplayer mode where you have to kill each other because we haven't practiced that at all and that's simply not how we play i don't think i've ever played it that way at all i think way. we played it once and realized how much it doesn't gel with our style oh. mm. but at the very least we, we should do one round in giant palace to show that off because that is technically an unlockable map look how bad i did again because we were talking again i mean you got halfway there were oh lesbians in deck chairs what what <laughs> And for the sake of variety, I'll play as Chick this time. Because time okay. was, back in the day, I would alternate through playing all four characters, including getting a, like getting in ahead of time and selecting Rolly before Mama Hex was able to, one in every four times, just, just to play as everyone. Hmm. They will not believe that I can do any better than this now. And I, I, I can vouch for Mama Hex. She is a, a competent player. Sometimes. Sometimes. You said it, not me. <laughs> When I'm not multitasking, and that includes talking. But I was I was thinking just now, if it's like, yeah. what, what's the date? 13th, 14th July, something like that? Yes, it's the 14th, which means the local pub's doors have been open since yesterday, but that's a rant for another time. Oh, yeah. Our Prime Minister, by the way, has just said that week after next, everyone has got to wear a mask if they're in a shop. But not in a pub. Not in a pub. Not in a gym. Not in a gym. Only in a shop. Not if they're pushing over the lamp or behind the behind the bed. No, that's not what I originally was thinking. In my what shoes. What I originally was thinking was right. It's the middle of July, and we we know that Luke has been in hospital, and we do like Luca Gin. We we all love Luca Gin. Can you all just join us in saying, "Cheers, Luca Gin. Hope you get better very soon. You'll probably never see this, but if you do, we all love you." Cheers, Luca Gin. Yay. I, I, I might send this video specifically to Tyler just because we're, I'm friends with him on Discord because of a university project that I did way back when. And I know that he is or certainly was friends with Lucas, so perhaps he could pass this on. Tyler, of course, being attacking two cats for anyone who's not. Familiar. Like, like he knows my name, but I don't. It, like, he doesn't talk about me, but he knows I exist. He's mentioned you at least once, though, hasn't he, on a video? Oh, Tess Hex! Oh, oh my yeah. gosh! Tess with the hexagons! Oh, I'm your shit. biggest fan! <laughs> I, th I, think it, I think it was in a live stream, but yeah. Because I, I was the last ever contestant on his former roommate's game show, and the second half of my run never made it to air, and I'm glad because I, I, I got out on a... Well, it wasn't a stupid... It was a good question. It was just a question outside my area of expertise. I used a lifeline and everything, so I got too cocky. I'm, I, I've, been, I've been playing Minecraft recently. I've recently discovered the joys of Minecraft courtesy of an Oregonian friend of mine who's also called Alex. I know, like... Four Alexes. It's it's a redonk, is what it is. Oh, oh. Ah, I'm up here now. You're holding your egg. I wasn't. I, I lost it for a while and didn't realise that I lost it. 
me at some point I'm gonna show my mother around my Minecraft world because I I, oh, yeah. I, I, I used to play uh, creative mode and then I sort of stepped away from the game for a while. Excuse me, where can I jump off without falling off? Just go. Don't go, don't walk off the nubules. Just walk off the regular side. Like this. Yes. Whee. Don't jump. Oh, yeah, but when I say walk off the side, I mean walk off the side. Don't propel yourself into the infinite abyss. If you're going to do something, you know, do it with, with, with passion. Yeah, you know, like, like, like the, the origins of the universe according to Bill Woods. Some stars die and burn out. Some stars die and burn out with passion. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to only ever play in creative mode. Because, I don't know, was I scared of survival? I don't know. But I was good at, you know, I, I, I would build stuff. And now I've, I've discovered survival mode, and I have quite a little world going. And I, I wondered about what to do with the roof of my house, and I decided, hey, I'm going to grow some extra hell mushrooms up there. Because uh, I have a tree farm, and there is a beautiful irony to the fact that I had to bulldoze a hill, move that hill to fill in some land so that the whole thing took up one level rather than three and then tore down a load of trees to plant some other different trees. You know, I paved over paradise and put up a car park. It's called a car park, <laughs> damn it. Anyway. Oh, it was a 16-pointer, oh, of course. Well, 15-pointer, but yes. Oh. Well, if it had gone in the net, it would have been a goal. Yeah, it was a game of two halves. Except it wasn't, it was pretty much linear. Yeah. Shall we do one more, like, Speedy round, first to nine points, but for for shits and giggles. Oh, see, I knew you'd do this as well. Well, we don't have to. The thing yes. is, the thing Come is, on. Dino Mountain's kind of sad because all you have to do is not walk off the side. You have one job, and that's look out for the blue lines. Don't cross them. They're not even thin. They're blue lines, but they're not thin. Ready, go. They're quite <laughs> chunky, as it happens. There's a there's a kaboot egg over here. There's a glut of eggs everywhere. You, your excuses are abundant yet minimal. <laughs> Everything's on the edge of... <laughs> As demonstrated here. <laughs> oh, there you are. Well, walk around the, the... Like, follow the fence around the perimeter and you'll find a kaboot egg. Yeah. There you go. Now, don't walk off the side. As a kaboot egg. No, to your left. Keep going. There you go. And just stay around the edge of the arena. Because <sighs> I, I feel as though each individual level in this game, in the multiplayer, is designed to teach you a different trick. Like okay. the... Cypher, Cypher, please. Cypher, please. Cypher, no Cyphering. <laughs> so Forest Village 1, which is very simplistic, I think is it, it designed to teach people aggressive play, because it's a very small arena, there's nowhere to hide. Forest Village 2, I think, is probably the, the one we just did. Not mm. just just did, but the one that we did in this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah is just like the simple get used to the multiplayer in general. Probably best for this particular mode. Uh, Pirate's Island is to teach you like navigating up and down sort of stepped surfaces, you know, the, the multi-leveled platforming. This level, I believe, is designed to teach you how to use the C-stick to control the camera. So to keep an eye on where the floor is and is not. Because we only started practicing this level very, very recently because we, we both had sort of dim and distant memories of Mama Hex constantly finding ways of falling through the floor. Almost like that. Uh, there's, you know, Blizzard Castle, I, I suppose. No. I was trying to get off the damn fish. To be fair, yeah. you saw I had that problem with the circus hat in Sand Ruin. No. So I, I can't criticize too much. How, so, do you, how do you get off? X. X. The button used to deploy the cookie in this case oh. is used to dismount. And said, if you kill yourself, you lose two points. If someone else kills you, you steal their points. Or rather, they steal your points. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, uh, Blizzard Castle, probably just to teach you about aggressive play on a multi-tiered like, platform with the, uh, the the ladder hook things. Do you want this egg that bad? Have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a gentleman. Intimidation. How is that intimidation? It That's like if someone mugs you in the street and gives you change. <laughs> like... <laughs> Someone gives you a 20 pound note and asks for two tens at gunpoint. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> anyway, uh, Sand Ruin is to teach you about like the green launches and verticality and going above and below the hole. 
Uh, the circus park is just teaching you how to navigate using the various colored launchers. And Giant Palace is a culmination of extremely high and extremely low and any way the wind blows and twiddle diddle diddle dum dee ho How do I get down? Just keep swimming. <laughs> Skip swim. Yes, I'm a natural boy. Oh. You're about to steal my Spanish. No. That was a dream I had. I'm not sure I ever explained it on video. Anyway. Anyway. We've been playing for half an hour. Have we? Yes. Good lord. I, I think perhaps it might be time for a tea break, and I think that'll be a video, unless you direly wanted to show every single map. No, maybe further on. Further along down the line. Um, but it's been fun, and it's been nice to speak to you lovely people. Yeah, so I have been, and will continue to be desolating hexagons. And I... I'm still Mama Hex and always will be. Yeah, you have personal beef with Anne Hegarty because of how they write the scripts of Britain's Brightest Family. I do. These, um... The goodbye these from the governess, I've been Anne Hegarty. When like, you're both yes, of those things. when people say, I've been. Well, I still am. That's why I say I will continue yeah. to be. Yeah, me too. I'll always be Mama Hex. So, anyway. Good, isn't he? Yeah. And on that note... God save the Queen. She stole my thunder. <laughs>